Hello, and welcome to part 12 in the Game Guru Season 2 tutorial series. Now, we're going to finish off the Goblin Village today, and touch upon the Fisherman Village a little bit more, before tweaking the scene to be more atmospheric and in line with their needs. Now, last week I designed quite a nice fire pit, um, with some sort of pot, which may contain beans or gruel or rocks, or whatever it is goblins eat. And um, we'd like to put a bit of fire on there. Now, the best way to do fire in Game Guru is to use a decal. Now, a decal, in this case, is a simple sprite that always faces the character and plays a series of um, images in sequence. And those images may be like an explosion or something like that, but in this case, it's a fire burning. Now, if you go to add new entity under decals, there's a few here, such as Dust Puff, Torch Flame, but I'm going to use Fire 1. Now, if I op OK that, you can see on my cursor I have the decal and a nice roaring fire. If I place that down and move it over the log, it will give the log the fact that it's on fire. Now, I could go like this and it's like, well, that's obviously a very thin fire. Uh, but in the actual game, it will track to the player and always show its front to the player. So, no matter what happens, you'll see a fire, like so. Now, another thing I want to do is, it's a little big for that, so I want to make it a bit smaller. Um, so it's like the logs on fire. And I may take another one and make that even smaller and use that as a kind of a secondary fire on the log. So it's like just just past the rocks and before the log, something's burning um, just inside. Uh, like so. Now we'll have a look at that in a moment to see um, how it's looking. But I wanted to look at the Fisher Village as well. Now, it was quite correctly commented that this is a very small pier. Um, and in spite of the popular saying, that would be very hard to dug a boat up against. So, what I'd like to do is, I like what I've got so far, but I think we can expand it a little bit more. If we extract, hold down shift, left click, we still have this on our cursor. So if we drop it down slightly, and bring it out slightly, like so, and maybe scale it down just a little. We have the dock which now clears the rocks a little bit better, and for the sake of um, authenticity, if we take these wooden beams and bring them out to the edge of the new dock and bring it down to just below the surface like so it's a more realistic dock insofar as it's extending into the water rather than just butting up against the side of the land because if it were just butting up against the side of the land you may as well just use the land this way dock, um, a boat um, can remain in the deep part of the water and allow goods and cargo to be unloaded and offloaded so I just wanted to make that dock a little bit better, and thank you for the commenters uh, for pointing that one out. Um, please feel free to make more comments, and we shall tweak as we go.